Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the difference between J unit and test ng? Let me answer. First of all, both J unit and test ng are testing frameworks, but they have a difference. Which one is popular? Compared to J unit, test ng is popular and is more advanced. Okay. J unit is there from long time, long back time. Okay. But test ng is kind of latest. So as the name speaks, ng means next generation. Okay. Next generation testing framework. J unit is kind of old. Okay. And test ng comes with a lot of options than J unit. Okay. So people uh, in real time prefer to use test ng over J unit, but uh, both have its own, you know. There are some set of people who still like JNIT only over TestNG and there are good amount of people who are who have already migrated to TestNG and uh, they like TestNG, okay? But TestNG is a, a next generation uh, testing framework with more advanced and features and more options available, okay? Fine, so let me list down some differences for you. That was a high level difference I was talking about JNIT and TestNG till now. But now let's go into the details of the differences. What exact differences we have coming to the test configuration in test ng we can uh, con configure something like test ng .xml file. We have something like test ng .xml file in uh, test ng. Using that right, it it will provide more flexibility. Okay, in configuration using that uh, test ng .xml files or whatever it is. So we can define the test suites, test dependencies, parallel execution, and many more are available. But if you want to achieve the same thing in JNIT, there is no configuration option. We have to depend on the naming conventions and annotations. For example, uh, this prioritization of the test is there. Priority attribute is there in the test ng. Simply provide priority is equal to one, priority is equal to two. That will, you know, that will take care. Whereas in uh, JNIT, right, uh, we have to go with the name of the methods, test methods, okay, like that. Such kind of differences are there. So, JNIT uh, cannot be configured, okay? Uh, similar to test ng, there is no XML files uh, to be configured in JNIT. So everything need to be achieved with the help of annotations and naming conventions in JNIT. Whereas in test ng, we have some extra configurations and extra annotations and all those stuff, okay? Test ng is more advanced and kind of more latest, you can say. And coming to the annotations, both have the annotations. Test ng has annotations. JNIT has annotations, but TestNG offers more annotations, okay? Additional annotations like before suite, after suite. This before suite, after suite uh, are not there in the JNIT, okay? So, and uh, and the name of the annotations differ. If you talk about the difference between JNIT and TestNG annotations, they differ in the name, okay? For example, in JNIT, uh, there is some annotation like at the rate before, and uh, the same one in TestNG testing framework is called at the rate before method. So, the name... Naming, naming is different, okay? So the name of the annotations is different and the more annotations are there in test engine when compared to JNIT. And coming to the test dependencies, if you want to make a particular test dependent on uh, other tests, okay? In J, JNIT, there is no inbuilt mechanism, okay? There's no built-in support for that. We have to do some custom coding or programmatically, we have to get it done or we have to use some external third-party libraries to make this uh, dependency of the test possible. But in test engine, we have the inbuilt uh, attributes available using which we can simply make one test dependent on other tests, okay? Whereas uh, the other one is parallel execution. Again, the same thing, okay? So uh, we have to use some external tools or frameworks. By default, uh, JNIT doesn't have anything. Here, uh, JNIT have to write, okay? Native support is not there or inbuilt support is not there. But in TestNG, we have some attributes and all using which parallel execution is possible in test ng inbuilt. Whereas in JNIT, we have to depend on some external tools or frameworks, okay? And then a data-driven testing. Again, the same thing, JNIT by default doesn't have this data-driven testing mechanism. Again, we have to write some custom code, we have to write some logic to get it done. Whereas in test ng, we have some annotations and all using which, by using that inbuilt annotations and all, we can easily achieve data-driven testing. And coming to reporting, Test ng offers more extensive and customizable reporting. Okay, both will provide reporting, but uh, you know, test ng offers more customizable reporting or more extensive reporting, more detailed reporting. 
test and reports look better than JNA reports and so on. Okay. And prioritization of the test, I have already mentioned. So there is a inbuilt uh, attribute in test ng, like priority attribute using which we can prioritize the test in which order the test need to run. But in JNIT, it's not there. Okay. That kind of attribute is not there. We have to depend on the name of the, we have to name the test methods in such a way that they execute in a particular order. Okay. So like that, those are few differences. Okay. Between JNIT and test ng, these are the major differences. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.